our previous session, we have covered what is the split function in our NumPy arrays. In our today's session, we will be talking about sort, search, and filter. These are three functions that we will be using. So with the help of sort, we can sort the data. With the help of search, we can search for a data using its index. And with the help of filter, we can filter the data. First of all, we'll be talking about sort function here. We have used the sort function before as well. So I'll just give you a small brief on that. So for that, we will be writing import NumPy as NP. Once we have imported NumPy as NP, we need to create an array over here. For creating an array, we'll be writing ARR is equals to NP dot array. And here we'll be passing some elements. So these are my elements. So what I need to do, we need to sort it over here. For sorting it, we will be creating a variable called as ss is equals to np dot sort. And here we will be passing arr. And as soon as we run it, we don't have to run it. First of all, we need to print it. So first we will be printing it. And now as soon as we run it, we'll be getting the output as 2, 3, 5, 7, 8. You can see over here that it was arranged in the random order. And now it has been arranged in the ascending order. Similarly, if I talk about another array over here, so let me just add one more array and I'll be writing some random elements here and it would be a two dimensional array. So now if I run it, I'll get the output like this. We'll be getting 2, 3, 5, 7, 8 and 2, 2, 5, 7, 8. That means both of them have been arranged in the ascending order. Here you can provide with the x's as well. So x's is equals to 1 would be our vertical x's. And x's is equals to 0 would be our horizontal x's. So here what has happened in the first two elements we have 2 and 2. In the second two elements we have 5 and 8. In 5 and 8 the 5 is smaller than the 8 is bigger. So that's why 8 is in the bottom uh, array. If, if we talk about the next element of both the arrays we have 3 and 7. So here in the first one we have 7. We Here in the second one we have 3. But if we arrange them in the ascending order the 3 come first. That's why it has been arranged in the first array and the 7 is in our second array. Similarly, 7 and 8, so 7 has been arranged in our first array and 8 has been arranged in our second array. 2 and 3, in 2 and 3, 2 comes first. That's why 2 is arranged in our first array and 3 is arranged in our second array. This is how sort function basically works over here. So I'll put it inside the comment and let's move ahead and talk about the search function. For searching, we will be using the where option over here. So first of all, let's create an array over here and i'll be writing array is equals to np dot array and here i'll be passing some elements so i need to search for the indexes of array basically that if i'm looking for uh, let's say element number six what would be the index of element number six here so to search over here we'll be writing a variable called as s inside this we'll be writing np dot where for searching it for searching anything for searching an index of any element we use the where uh, option over here Similar to our SQLs, uh, similar to our MySQLs and SQLites where clause. And inside this, I'll be passing ARR, where ARR in ARR, uh, the value is equal to 6. And if I print S here and run it, I'll be getting the output as uh, it's on index number 3. And the data type is integer 64. What if we have 6 over here as well? In that case, what would happen, it will say that uh, inside the array where it is on number 1 and number 3 and the data type over here is int64. You can give anything else as well where ARR is greater than 6. Okay, so wherever the ARR is greater than 6, so it ha it's happening one time only that it is uh, coming over here on 8 that wherever in our array the elements are greater than 6. Or we can also say that wherever the elements when divided by 2 gives the remainder zero that means all the even numbers so we have all the even numbers over here let me just put this one as five this one as let's say seven and now if i run it i'll get the output one two and four so index number one is six index number two is two and index number four is zero one two three four that is eight so on six two and eight we are receiving six two and eight are the output that we are receiving that is why why because of so six two and eight are the elements and for them the array indexes that we are receiving is 1, 2 and 4 because we have written over here wherever the array when divided by 2 gives the remainder 0 on whatever the elements where array is divided by 2 gives the element 0. Okay. Similarly, you can provide with anything over here, any condition you can pass over here and you can get the output with the help of search filter. Also, you can use a function called as search sorted for that. I'll be writing, I'll be just putting this inside the comment and to use search sorted, we will be again creating an array over here and I'll be just, uh, search sorted is applied only on sorted arrays. So we will be creating a sorted array over here. So for that, I'll be writing np dot array and in the square brackets, I'll be passing some elements like this. Okay, it's not sorted. 
So one, three, five, six, seven, nine. Okay. Now uh, I'll be creating a variable called a search sorted. Search sorted is equals to np dot search sorted, and here we'll be passing let's say five, and if I print ss and run it, so it's basically an arr. So arr comma five. And now if I run it, I'll be getting the output too that it is on index number two over here. If I talk about number seven, so if I run it, I'll be getting the output four. It only uh, it can only happen uh, on sorted values over here. So you need to remember that you need to provide sorted value. The search sorted only works on the sorted values. After this, lastly, we have the filter function. Let's see what filter function does basically. For filter function, again, I'll be creating an array over here that arr is equals to np dot array. And here I'll be passing some elements in the format of a list. Uh, now filtering an array works in a in a form of a boolean as well. So let's say I'll be creating a variable called as fa. Fa is equals to. Let me just uh, reduce the number of elements here. So let's just keep five elements as of now. And fa is equals to. Um, I'll be creating a list over here that uh, whatever values I want. Filter means that the values that I want to receive over here. So I want let's say three. Uh, I want let's say three, and let me just put a, put this one as five. So I want to receive three and five. So wherever three is there, I'll be writing true for it. The next one is false. I don't want uh, this one. The next one is again false. I don't want two as well. And the next one uh, is five. So for that, I'll be writing true. And the next one, last value is false. That means I don't want to receive it. Okay. After this, I'll be creating another variable called as new. New inside new, I'll be writing arr. And in the square bracket, I'll be passing fa. That means uh, I should be receiving all the values on which true are there. And after this, I'll print new. And as soon as we run it over here, we'll be getting the output three and five. That means on three and five only we have true. That's why we are getting three and five. If you want to receive two also, in that case, you can just pass true here. And if I run it, so wherever there is true, so true is on three, true uh, true is on two, and true is on five as well. So we are getting three, two, and five. Over here. So this is one method. If I talk about another method over here, for that again, let's create an array. So I'll be writing arr is equals to np dot array, and here I'll be passing a list again. Okay. Now this time, what you can do, you can directly give a condition over here. For example, I can write fa. That means filtered array would be all the elements in the arr which are greater than let's say five. Okay. And new will be. Arr and in the square bracket we will pass fa. That means this function will be this filtered array function is applied on arr, and we will be writing print new. As soon as we run it, let's see what output we will receive. So in the output we have six six eight six nine. That means all the values which are greater than five are here. Similarly, it can go for the smaller than as well. So we have two three three two. We can apply it again for the even numbers that arr is equals to. So for arr, when divided by two, gives the remainder zero. That means this whole array, when all the elements of this array, when divided by two, gives the remainder zero. That means that number should appear here. So for two, it is there. Six, it is there. Three is a odd number, so three is not here. Six is again an even number. Eight is again an even number. Six again is an even number. Two is an even number. So all the even elements are here. And if I write not equal to, in that case, I will receive all the odd numbers. That is three, three, and nine. So guys, this was our filter function. So basically, our search function or filter function, they are not themselves a function. Basically, they are just the terms for them. We use where and for the filter, we basically just write it in the form of a boolean, or we provide it with the condition and apply it on our array. So I hope guys that sorting and array searching and filtering is clear to you. In our next session, we'll be talking about some more functions related to our NumPy arrays. So stay connected, guys, and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.